wait. Oh, ah, oh my God. I never blended this down here. The, the koozie I'm so annoying. <laughs> We want to be giving a life with blood flowing through our veins, all right? That's what I'm trying to get at. This is my look right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Honey, the weather outside is frightful and the fire is so delightful, but we are not trying to be dry in this season, okay? Here's some things that I'm doing to make sure that my skin feels comfortable, looks hydrated since weather has changed, okay? Let's get into it. First things first, make sure that you are hydrating your skin through your skincare routine. I've already done that. Maybe I should have added that here, I'm not sure. But if you want a video on my winter skincare routine, then let me know. But make sure that you're changing out your foundation to one that is more fitting for the cooler weather. I have been loving this Gucci foundation, honey. And you know, when I travel, I love the Fenty Pro Filter because I usually go to warm weather places and I love to be dry, you feel me? Now that the weather is cooler outside, I still use this on some days, but I have been adding in something else to help balance it and help me feel hydrated. I'll get to that in a second. But today in this video, I'm gonna go over to the Maybelline Super Stay Skin Tint. I use this in a totally different video and this has a natural radiant finish. So first step first, like I said, is the skincare that you do. Make sure you are focusing on the hydration do not skip the skincare. If you do, you'll find that your face will be trying to make up for the fact that it's so dry and then you might feel like you're even more oily than usual. Just don't skip that, please. Here we are with the product, Fat <laughs> Flat Kabuki Brush, and I'm just spreading this all over. This is what, medium coverage? Obviously, I took three pumps. I like to build it up. I like for my foundation to be darker than my skin tone because when I do my whole face, it's all gonna come together. Now, I saw a comment about this giving black face. Not only is the comment fundamentally nonsensical, it's foolish, so please stop. Do what you do, and I'ma always do what I do. You know that for sure, okay? I'm adding a little more because I need some more coverage, okay? Okay. And look at that shine that it's giving already. You see the reflection a little bit? I like that. My skin does feel comfortable, which is good. It's good to assess with each layer of your products how your skin is feeling. And then if you feel dry at any point, then you can spray a setting spray on your face. So now that we're here, let's just get right into it. I love using the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. Now, I don't use the Hydro Grip Primer because it's going to hydrate the skin. And to be honest, each time that I've gotten NPR, I've given it away. If I still had one, I would put that on today. So feel free to put on a hydrating primer like that one, and then do your foundation. Choose a hydrating foundation. Depending on how cold it is where you are, you can certainly layer up all of the hydrating products that you're gonna use. I'm still gonna use my same old, same old tried and true concealer. This is Hourglass. I've been running through this one for the last several months. I love it. This is the shade Velvet. I'm blending with my my Real Techniques sponge. This is so cute. Not only is it a nice, almost nude tone, but it's really soft. It's not dense, which is great. It collapses so easily. I like when it can be squeezed all the way through, which just tells me it's gonna apply the product a lot better. I used so much, so as you can see, I'm applying this concealer in all the other areas that I'm already gonna go to, but let's just do it now so that I can lessen the amount of concealer that I put on my eye. I just took a lot and that's how I fix it. We still gonna contour with the Old Faithful because LYS bronzer and the shade Worthy, it just gets me together. And it's dewy, it's hydrated, it's not dry. I don't want the perimeter of my face to look dry. I mean, I don't want any part of my face to look dry in this kind of weather. So this always comes through and I'm doing a better job, doing a better job of making sure that my contour sits higher. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, ah! oh my God. I never blended this down here, the, the concealer, I'm so annoying. <laughs> Thank God for a damp sponge. See, if you're using a dry sponge, I don't know how that would have worked. How did I miss that? Maybe because I just took a break to go get some coffee and come back. <laughs> I'm annoyed. Okay, let's blend this in. Still setting my under eyes, especially with the dewy look. I love how this is gonna make my under eyes look because this is the Glowish Luminous Setting Powder. And honey, it's just gonna look nice and dewy and bright and just amazing, especially once I put the setting spray on. Now is the time where I put on my face powder. Be careful with the face powder you're using this winter or this cooler season because if you're using one that is very mattifying, you might feel extremely uncomfortable, okay? I have been enjoying this for Micro Smooth. This is a tried and true staple. You've seen me use it a million times, but let me explain that it gives a little bit of a, I don't wanna call it a shine, but it reminds me of the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. It's gonna give you light coverage. It's not going to make you look matte, and that is a good thing because I'm not trying to look matte. 
okay? I wanna look comfortable, I wanna look natural. I mean, it's makeup, it's not natural, obviously, but you see what I'm saying? I want my face to look like it has a pulse, okay? That's basically what I'm trying to say. <laughs> we wanna be giving a life with blood flowing through our veins, all right? That's what I'm trying to get at. The overall vibe of how I want my face to look, like I said in the beginning, is for it to look dewy, glowy, natural, you feel what I'm saying, alive. You know, I always do this. This is the Milk Color Chalk. This is the shade Kickball. I love to highlight the inner part of the eye. If you're doing a glowy look and you don't highlight the inner part of the eye, I mean, the world's not gonna come to an end, but this just makes it pop more. It's just gonna add to the whole idea that the face is looking glowy, healthy, alive, awake already. Can you see the shine under my eye? That's from that setting powder. I have not sprayed anything to my face and perhaps even just the combination of the foundation that does have the natural radiant finish to it and the powder. It's just a whole thing, you feel me? So I love to make sure that the inner part of the eye pops and this shimmery reflection is gonna look so good in the end. So of course you gotta get that in here and this is the Sephora 18 brush. All products are gonna be linked below. Lashes are on. I have been loving this Huda One Coat Wow Mascara. Honey, this stuff is good. Do you hear me? This stuff is really good. I literally go over both of these eyes with this one coat and it'd be so good. If you've tried this, comment and let me know. Keeping the same momentum of the face looking and feeling very hydrated, I'm gonna do a juicy lip as well. I mean, you can have a juicy face and a matte lip, but you know, I like to I like to make it make sense when I can't. Oh, then I forget to do my... <gasps> my face highlighter i can't stand that i'd be getting so tricked because the face looks so dewy and hydrated already that i forget that i have not intentionally highlighted my nose upper lip and my chin do you see that it looks good already but i want to just intensify it a little more this is the sephora 26 lip stain now i live by this honey i use it as a lip liner but you can do with it what you please okay this is what i'm talking about this milk makeup highlighter in the color lit i use my finger so that it warms up a bit and I go right down here with a clean finger. I'm patting to now blend it in and then I go right above here in this area. I do this before my lippy, but I forgot, like I said, and lightly tapping it, clean finger to blend that. Look, I got some right here, but we can match it up on this side. I want it to look subtle. It's all gonna melt in when I do this right. And then above the lip, closest to the inside of where my lip is tucked, not so much the chin, but closer up here, okay? That's the key. And then the cheek is already highlighted from the setting powder. Do you see that, girl? This is my look right here. Mm -hmm. This is my look. Do you see the nose? Okay, good. And then I whipped this out. I have not used this. I don't know if I should continue. This is a Sephora lipstick I have not used before. Tan Lines is the shade. I hate that. This looks nice and peach and pink. And then the actual lipstick looks like this. Are they serious? What in the world? This is so cool toned looks gray why would y'all do this this is a lie it was all a lie but we're gonna make it work we have lined the lips with this brown so it should still come together we're focusing this in the oh god why would y'all do this the world collection are you kidding me right now this is not what i thought it would be there's a time and a place for this it's just not what i wanted today you see what i'm saying keep blending let's get the sides in now, if you ask me, I want more brown to bring this in, but when I do it after the fact, it can look a little wild. Here we are, okay? Let's block the inside and let's put this gloss on top. This should help. This is one of my favorite glosses from Sephora. This is the O2 Outrageous Effect Plumping Effect. It doesn't plump anything. It usually, ooh, this might be too light though. It made it more pink. That's good. Here we go. Okay, it came together. It was a little suspect, but it came together. Okay, nice nude combo for dark skin. And here's the key finisher, honey. All right, Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. Normally you wanna avoid the eyes because you don't want the top of the lid to get all dewy, you feel me? So just do your best. Okay, let's just do the top of the face first. Test it out. Okay. And just let that set. Looking nice and wet. And then I'm going to spray the sides and the bottom of my face. I'm trying to avoid the eyes. And I'm holding my breath, obviously. Hold your breath. And clearly don't want to spray my lips. Ooh, I already look good, okay? You can see the mist on my face hairs. Let this dry, but let's eat it up a little bit. Get you a fan. <laughs> Make sure you, you don't lose the cover. 
Look already, it's giving that beautiful dew. It's not a sweaty dew like you've been outside at soccer games all day, but a, in my opinion, a dew that was done intentionally, you feel me? So earlier I had said that as you're putting on your steps, if you're feeling dry, then you can spray your face. So if you were, let's say, to use Fenty Pro Filter or your favorite matte foundation, cause you just love it, it's your shade, you don't wanna change it. If you wanna make it work for you in the winter time, use a spray like this one after your foundation, you feel me? Or after you put on your powder to help it look more dewy and to feel more comfortable and flexible on your face. Look at this shine shine. I am glowing, honey. What do you think about it? Come and let me know. I love this. This is the kind of glow that's gonna last me all day, you feel me? And even put it on your body. If you put Vaseline on your chest, your arms, or your favorite body cream, spray this setting spray on that area if you want your skin to glow depending on what you're wearing, where you're going. I love this. Do this for your wedding. Do this for a date night. Do this for yourself. Let me know if you try this out. Let me know if you've used this spray before. Do you love it? I cannot stop looking at my face. Oh, and this bob, huh? How you feeling about it? If you saw the, if you saw my vlog, then you saw me cut the hair. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.